good day, our wonderful designers at home. If you are just joining us, you welcome to Adewale Kayode online class. And this edition is looking into question from past SSC question. Let's see this question from what 2010 number five. Two fear dies are thrown. M is the event described by the sum of the score is 10. That is when you score, sum the score together, it's going to give you 10. And N is also an event described by the difference between the two score is 3. That is the difference between the two score is what? Is 3. Now we are now asked to write out the element of M and N. B, we are asked to find the probability of M or N. And C, are M and N mutually exclusive? If it is mutually exclusive, we should give reason. And if otherwise, we should also give reason. How do we go about this question? What they are saying here is that when you throw two dice, two fear dice are thrown, we always play dice at all. We know how dice look like. It has six faces. And the numbers on it is written from one to what? To six. So the two of them now, when you throw it, we want to look at the sum of the scores that are 10. Then another event there, which is the difference between the scores is what? Is three. So we have the table now. The, the first dice is one, two, three, four, five, six. The second one is also one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's complete the table to see the sum. Where the sum, where we have sum of as what? As 10. And the difference as what? As 3. So how do we go about that? This table is uh, one of the most difficult things that make people to run away from probability. But I want to show you another trick that make it simple. You don't need to cram out to uh, draw this table. So what you just need to do, we have 1 to 6. Just repeat 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Your table is half complete. So to balance it up, all this will be what? 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. Then use your comma to separate the number. So there is no... Values, no throw, you throw on two dice that you will not get the value here. So that is how to draw the table. So we have drawn the table now. So the next thing now is that the question says the M, the set M, that is where you have the sum of the word, of the outcome to be what? To be 10. Where can we have 10 here? 4 plus 6, that is 10. 5 plus 5, that is 10. 6 plus 4, that is what? 10. Great. So that is set M now is equals to, that is those elements now will be what? 4, 6, 5, 5, 6, and what? And 4. That is 4, 6. Five, five, six, what? Six, four. Okay? Let's move to set N. That one says the difference between the two numbers must be what? Three. That is why you look for the difference between the two numbers, it must be three. So let's see. Is there anyone of this value that when you look for their difference, it will give you three? Great. Difference between three and six. That is 3. Different between 2 and 5. That is 3. Different between 4 and 1. 
That's also three. Any other one? Can we look for another one again? Different between C, six and three. That is three. Any other one? Five and two. And four and what? And one. So how many are they all together? For M, how many are they? One, two, three. So that means the numbers of this set is what? Is three. So for N, what are those numbers? Three, six. Okay. Two, five. Okay, one four. Okay, six three. Okay, any other number again? Five two and what? And four one. So those are the elements that when you look at their difference, it will give you what three. So what is the number in that set? That'll be what? That'll give us six. You can see bringing the knowledge of what? Of set theory into this now. The question now says, these are the what? The members of M and what? What's the probability of M? The probability of M now is 3 out of 36. Then the probability of N is how many? 6 out of what? Out of 36. But the question says, what is what? The probability of M or N. The probability of M or N. It means that is what? That's probability of M plus what? Plus n. Don't forget, we can reduce this to what? 1 out of what? Out of 12. And this will become 1 out of what? How many 6 can we see in this? Great. That is 1 out of 6. So let's now see the probability of m or n now. And the probability of m is what? That is 1 over 12 plus 1 over what? Over 6. So the LCM is what? 12. How many 12 can I see in 12? That is 1. Multiply by 1. That will give me what? 1 plus. How many 6 can I see in 12? That is 2. That's 1 multiplied by that 2. So your final answer will be 1 plus what? Plus 2 over what? 12. 1 plus 2. That will give me 3 over what? Over 12. And that is 3 in 3 is 1. 3 in this. That is what? 4. So the probability of M or N is 1 out of what? Out of 4. Now, the last question is, uh, let's look at the last question quickly. What did the last question say? The last question says, are M and N mutually exclusive? Are M and N mutually exclusive? Let's list out the element of M. M, let's use set notation. Now that is 4, 6, 5, 5, 6, 4. Those are the members, elements of this set. M, what are their elements? 3, 6, 2, 5, 1, 4, 6, 3, 5, 2, and 1, 1. For what this means is M and N mutually exclusive, and uh, they ask us to give reason. So, yes, they are mutually exclusive because the event of one does not prevent the other. When we look at the two, when we look at the two now, when we look at these two, ah, uh, that is M intersects what N. Is there anything common to both of them? Nothing is common to both of them. That's an empty set. So that shows, yes, it is mutually what? Exclusive. So there is nothing prevent each other. So the numbers of this word, the numbers of this set, so how many things do we see here? It's what? It's zero. So that means it is what? 
it is what it is mutually exclusive why because the event of one does not prevent the other if you find this video helpful please subscribe to this channel and make sure you share this video with other students to learn from this channel thank you and god bless you all